Hey, it's Bradley at Shamwell. Today I'm going to take you through using the Abitel 928 hydraulic pump just to show you how quickly and easy it is to generate pressures but also how quickly pressure stabilizers using this thing. So let's jump straight to it. So here we have our Abitel 928 hydraulic pump. You can get these to work with either hydraulic fluids or water. This particular model here is being used on water. So we'll connect our unit under test up now by using the Abitel quick connect system. So our gauge has a half inch NPT fitting and we have a quarter BSP at the bottom. The nice thing about these fittings, they're all hand tight. So we can just screw them down. Even with the NPT, there's no need for PTFE tape. Again, all hand tight, nice, quick and simple to connect everything up. That's done and we're now ready to use the pump to test. So with the 928, we have a vent valve, we have an isolation valve, we have our variable volume. We also have a priming pump here to allow us to increase the volume output of the pump and it's a really simple and easy thing to do so we close the ice uh, close the vent valve and we start to prime up the system and once the pump becomes stiff we can lock our isolation valve off and then we can start to use our variable volume to hit our cardinal points. The advantage of having the isolation valve is it eliminates this part of the circuit away from your measuring circuit to allow us to generate more stable pressures and also eliminate leaks. So there you can see we're sitting at 100 bar, it generated quite comfortably and you can see how stable this pressure actually is. So we'll move on to our next cardinal point. And the variable volume is nice and fine. You can see that the gauge moves very slightly. And you're now sitting at 200 bar. And you can now able to take a reading from this. So let's just move this up to 400 bar. And as you can see again, you get really quick, stable readings from this pump. 700 bar is a range that a lot of people will see. So you can see how easy it is just to use the variable volume to generate that pressure. You can see the, the pump stabilizing out very quickly. back down in pressure. And again. Nice fine adjust. And a very quick, very stable reading. So as you can see, generating 700 bar was painless. You don't need arms like Papai anymore. And certainly the stability you get from this pump 
it's quite amazing. Hopefully you can see from this really short video how quickly and easy it is to generate and control pressures on a hydraulic system using this pump. Let us know what you think to the video, leave your comments below. If you want some more information, please do get in touch either via email or phone call. And I hope you have a nice day. We'll see you soon.